Go. Yeah. Shalom, shalom. We like to say, call Halal. Yeah. 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 That shit is Shout weird. Shout out to the very few sisters that do listen up as well. All right, we're the brothers from the Great Millstone, Chicago gotcha. Cap. We'll be best if we just coming out here, prop side of the downfall of the present evil world. And I'm ready to the nation of Israel. I'll just All make right. sure I'm on point. You got something? Yeah, yeah. This first Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58. It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, That's cool. unmovable, God. always abounding in the work of Yahweh. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So our labor is not in vain, man. This work that we're doing is not in vain, man. The, the things that we're doing is not in vain, man. We're trying to in enter into immortality, man. Rulership, dominion. This is not a, this is not vain, man. The Lord said your words going to follow you, man. No matter if you're dying, it's truth or not, man. They say always abounding, man. We got we to gotta keep this. We got to keep the truth always in our fullness of our eyes, man. Meditate that in day and night, man. Nope. Chapter 1, verse 1 says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, Yahweh, and his law doth he meditate day and night. Alright, as Scripture says, we have to be doers of the words and not hearers only. We have to labor into their rest. Philippians 2 and 12 real quick, man. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always been, not as in my presence only, but now, much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trouble. And then go back into what the brother was saying. Hey, because we really have to show the Lord that we fear his, his commandments, fear his words, man. Like, ultimately, fear the judgment that's coming upon all of the wicked, you know, and not just the wicked of our people, hey, but wicked, hey, the wicked of the whole world, man. Hey, but especially of our people, man. Hey, because we are the ones that can uh, return into the ways of the Heavenly Father. We are the ones that can call upon Him and be heard, man. You know? So therefore, we have to work out our salvation with fear and trouble. And that can come, um, uh, your, 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 like, like you said, um, your works, show me your faith by your works, man. And that's, that's made known in various different ways. Like the brother was talking about, giving you analogies of uh, your, your integrity being tested, man. Hey, hey coming into these last days, that's going to be a, a big thing upon our people, man. A lot of our people, integrity is being tested right now, and a lot of our people is being made known to be weak, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God. This is Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 11. Get it says, Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. That's We gotta labor into that rest. We gotta continue to do this work, man. You know? You can't, so we can't. You got it. I'm gonna say real quick, Zadoff. He can't be in the pocket as Israelite, man. That's right. Yeah, you can't. He can't be because there you be, you become lukewarm. And the truth says, I'd rather you have, uh, rather you have you cold or hot. That's right. If you become lukewarm, we'll spill you out. Lord, they dealing with lukewarm Israelites, man. 
right? And we, and we had to uh, uh, present our bodies as a living sacrifice. We come out here, it's a Saturday night. One of the nicest Saturdays we had. It's Friday. Right. You know, Jake's a uh, weekend, Jake's all types of fun. Like here, if we put ourselves, uh, present ourselves as a living sacrifice, and we, if we do the work of the Lord. Right. That's, that's more. But not being slow. That's right. No, not getting comfortable. This is not our rest. God. Hey, for the scripture says that hey, we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. And hey, these people, hey, hey, hey uh, uh, I was trying to get a wisdom song up there, chapter. I got it right here. Yeah. This is, uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. In one. In one. Yeah, I'll read it. It says, it's Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1. It says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of your house, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken away. In the, so like, and they're going from us to be utter, utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their home full of immortality. Mm. First God, you know, that's our hope. You know, that they receive immortality, man. This, this, this is not a light thing, man. I gotta, I gotta preach something. Hey, deepest thing, you, this is a very heavy thing, man. Hey, and like the brother, I was just thinking about what the brother was just saying, how we out here on uh, Saturday night live. You know, this is fucked up. Anyway, <laughs> we out here on Saturday night live. Hey, this is why the Bible refers to this as the foolishness of preaching. Because that's how we look at them, like right? goddamn jokes. That's how they look at us, like one of the brother made prescriptions. You no, know, the just is an abomination to the unjust. And the unjust is an abomination to the just. Go ahead and read what you got, brother. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 24. It said, Know ye not that they was running a race run all, but one received the prize, so one that he may obtain. Verse 25. And every man that striving for the masteries is tempering at all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. You know, so we gotta run all, man. We gotta put our all in this, man. So that we can receive that incorruptible crown, man. We gotta kill his fucking flesh, man. We gotta mortify the deeds of his body, man. We gotta kill off the old man and become that new creature. Uh. Uh, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Back in that wisdom of Solomon 3, verse 5, it says, And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. And you see, us being Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and we are all being chastised right now, man. Hey, we are all being afflicted right now. And it's right. But they self-restricted and have no hope. Our right. people, our two-thirds of our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, y'all don't see the kingdom of heaven. We showing, you people in this cell, we showing you what the Lord got in store for us, man, the promises. But you don't want to hearken unto it. You know, but only the remnant is going to return back. And Lord, we'll be part of that remnant, man. Right. The one that's hearkening unto the Lord's voice, man. That's right. It says, right. for you, I will prove them and found them worthy for themselves. And those are the ones that uh put off the old man, like the brother said. Hey, the ones who bring their bodies into subjection unto the heavenly father, man, in his ways, instead of following their ways, following the lust of their flesh. Because that's what's pushed out in this wicked ass world, man. Do what you want to do, wear what you want to wear. It's all right for my daughter and my, 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 my sister to walk down the street half naked. But, it, but it's not all right for our people to truth and try to compel them back to the ways of righteousness, man. So back to the Solomon 3 and 5, and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. Right, man. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, it's a life. Uh, oh, actually, I got to preach that. Yeah, I got it. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, man. All right, so, hey, man, the affliction that we go through, no, sir, sir, right? Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, the scriptures say you get punished unless your iniquity is deserved, man. That's all of us, man. So why why not, why not preach this word, man? Uh, why not do videos? Why not teach somebody, man? All right? Why not just put in the work, man? It's all for a uh, moment. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And the Lord is going to bring us uh, 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 more than what we can fathom. Well, there's Matthew 11 and 28 says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, 
he shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Right. The yoke is easy and the burden is light, man. He let you know, like, yo, this, this is an easy deal, man. Don't make it more complicated than it seems. All right? That's just what it is, man. Uh, what, else, what else is there to do? If you're not doing enough, investing in the Lord, you're not, hey, 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 what are you doing? You, hey, you investing in wickedness. Hey, hey you, you for what? Hey, all that shit gonna come to naught. We, hey, we, this is the best 401k plan that, that there is, man. 401k. Uh, I, I got a problem. <laughs> and that's the whole thing about it is, man, we already know that this place gonna be destroyed. So all you so-called Negroes, Hispanic, Native, Central Indians need to wake up. Right? Know who you are as a people. Know who the Lord really is, because there ain't no bitch-ass JC. Sorry, I ain't gonna say the name. You know what I'm saying? I don't deal with that shit. Nah, we don't apologize for not you saying the name. We ain't just gonna say the name. Right. We ain't Fuck saying J-E-S-U-S. -S. We ain't saying none of that other cornball shit. Because the scripture says what? The, the Lord actually to tell you to think about that shit before you do it. Yep. He said, be circumspect and make not mention of the names of other gods. Right, right. Fuck so, that So when we shit. say J-C, you know what we're talking about. If you don't, hey, that's better for you. We talking about right? that but dude. we deal with the name Yahweh and Yahweh. God. Dude, shit on the cross. You know what I'm right. <laughs> you don't grab my bathroom. You take it feminine, right? Feminine ass nigga, Look man. Like this cat over here. We take it. You taking the shit? He just haunting you, right? You don't grab my bathroom. Right, right. Pervert. You know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, you got that big classic. So what else is there to do except serve the Lord? Ain't nothing else to do. All right. This is Galatians six and nine. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap. If we faint not, so don't fall out this truth. Now granted, everything is all up to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But if you really down for the Lord, you really want to do what the Lord said, because he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. But people don't do that. Oh, but the yeah. ones that do do it, right? We out here. We do what the Lord said to do, right? And hopefully we don't faint. And if we don't faint, we know what we got coming. The kingdom, all right? Well, before the kingdom, we got salvation. We got the kingdom. We got everything the Lord that the, the, the Lord wants us to have that we desire, right? But you gotta put in that work, man. You ain't you ain't just gonna be sitting there and say I praise God and I'm about to get in heaven. No, it don't work like Pay them that. Ties. Especially with none of these heathens. Pay them ties, man. They got a whole nother thing coming. They gonna serve on the plantation, double what they did to us. All right. No. This is the Book of Proverbs, chapter 15 and 14. It says the heart of him that hath understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouth of the fools feedeth on foolishness. And what our people is not understanding is that we're supposed to be seeking out the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, which is right, which is uh, perfect, man. This is what makes us perfect, you know. This is what cleanses us from, from wickedness, man. This is what have the Lord um, to, to wink at our sins when he come back and annihilate all of the wicked here, man. It says... Annihilate. 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 It says all the days of the afflicted are evil, but he the square, just killing each other, man. Killing themselves, man. It says better. So like in verse 16, it says, better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. And we have the continual peace right now. We feast it on the word of the Lord. Alright, but these niggas. Read that 15 over nine. It's back in Proverbs 15, verse 15. It's like in verse 14. says, the heart of him that hath understanding. No, not that. 15. Okay. Verse 15 says, all the days of the afflicted are evil. Because this is all they do. All they do is wickedness. All they do is wickedness, man. All they do is wickedness. And they always ask you why the Lord jack them up. You think it's being afflicted because you wicked as all hell. That is of a merry heart hath continual feast. And we really have a merry heart right now. Right now, we should be in the spirit of merry because we see this man going That's out. right. Oh, this is Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. So, two judges of our people, your sins, your iniquity, he hid you from the Lord, man. You know? Because you're so far deep into your wickedness, you can't even understand what the Lord got set for you, man. And we are here warning you and telling you what you what the Lord got for you, man. Immortality, rulership, dominion, power, you the children of the most high. 
What you don't want to hurt them today? Should they tell you in um, what is it, John the third chapter? Right? The condemnation that's came into the world. Mm -hmm. Right? It's time for it's time for us to get right. You know, you know, shy again, man. It's that time. It says in an appointed time, I've heard thee. But mm -hmm. two thirds of our people, they they like, man, I don't care about that grace period. I'm gonna just still be black. Black. I'm still be Mexican. Yeah, you know? No, no, I was gonna say because it ain't no accountability in being black. No. You don't have you don't have no standard. What the fuck you what, what standards you got being a fucking Mexican man? No. <laughs> you can eat some damn all uh, you first you could you could be a Sancho, alright, which is a fucking adulterer, alright? You could eat fucking carnitas, which is a fucking abomination. Right. Why you just drink beer and watch boxing every Saturday? Right. I've never been a black football. Right, put football, football, football. Work it out. Work it out. Gotta go to the yacht. For Blanco? For Diablo? Oh, where's your sweet Mary? Oh, yeah, girl. Oh, yeah. You know? Ain't nothing possible. Ain't nothing possible being a fucking Mexican. What about black? Hey, they straight. You know, ain't gained a goddamn thing probably about being black. Blanco? 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 J -S -S fucking J-S-U-S, man. That's the black person king. You, you, you niggas are so deep in the black, but your God got blind hair and blue eyes. Holiday hair. You about to go celebrate the white man holiday. Right. Ain't no profit in being a goddamn no type of nigga. And I'm talking about all the shit, shit. If you, if you ain't resonating with this man, fuck you. That's right. That's right. I was going to say, ain't the profit of being black, so-called black, the profit of, of being a nigga. Upholding black culture. Ask Randolph. All right, Rand oh. hey, Randolph will tell you. I'm what you, profit was, is it being a nigga? I was just getting down on that nigga before he got spotted. I, I had to get down on him, man. Young no. Yeah, man, ask Randolph. You know, money bag, yo, brother. You know, and that's facts. <laughs> you know? I hate you. But hey, man, hey, he went to go get some cookies and got his ass burnt, man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. man the yeah. What they say? They said it's the first 48. He thought shit was sweet. You know? Why they got the bitch, why they got the bitch on this case? The oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The bitch before the first 48. Oh, they got it. They got to hire a black she woman. Go, yeah. she, go, she, she had to get some recognition. The black oh, yeah. woman going to find them smoking. Oh, yeah. No, the black I, woman I, all I, in the nigga business. But, but I, you know, and, and the thing about it is, you know, I'm not, you know, for to make fun of them, you know, because shit, the most I can have a nigga smoke me. You know, I'm not making fun of the dude. Fuck him. At the same time, because he's a wicked nigga. Hey, but the Lord says it, man. All things are double, one against another, you know? Because at one side, you see a nigga getting judged for being a wicked ass nigga that mocked the Lord. And at the same time, you be like, God damn, look at the condition of our people, man. Because I ain't seen any one of them niggas who shot dude lift up a finger at the fucking KKK, at the fucking police, at them fucking damn pedophiles at DCFS. Where you niggas be at, man? Right, right. Fuck you niggas, man. Right. This is uh, Jeremiah 4.22. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. What if you mind? I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> I ain't got time for this. Too bad. Look how these people are foolish. And probably the first chapter of the church says the beginning of the Lord is the, uh, 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 the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and destruction. Say these people, because they don't have no fear of the Lord, man. These niggas are fucking fools, man. Uh, yeah, I got it. Uh, that word foolish is I, I, we all, I, we all. To be foolish, one who despises wisdom, wow. of one who mocks when guilty, Damn. of one who is quarrelsome, meaning always trying to get into it, of one who is licentious, man. I forget what licentious means, man. Licentious. All right? All right, this, black. this is black culture, man. No, no, this was all black culture, man. Black. All right, our people despise black. wisdom. They hate, they hate wisdom. They hate intelligence. They hate the fear of the Lord. They hate accountability. That's our people. Yep. They hate accountability. Yep. They hate responsibility. Rebuke. Rebuke. Lord. Correction. You're reproof. Right. Yeah, the Lord in general. Anything that the Lord stands for, niggas just don't like. Right. It says one who mocks when guilty. That's our people, man. You give them straight repeat, man, uh, 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 from this, uh, from these scriptures, man, and they, man, everybody give a fuck about that shit. 
You know what I mean? What's that word? Uh, impudent. And then they get a tattoo talking about some God. Right. God <laughs> right. Which, right. Which, uh, is, which is totally uh, against the Tassie right. Commandments. Right. Right. But the same nigga talking this shit got them just right. Like, that's right. prophecy. Oh, what do you got there, man? Oh, God. Yeah, I ain't trying to. You know, man. But that's niggas. And fucking, uh, one, one bitch ass nigga that made it so popular, only God can judge you. He was Tupac, man. I'm talking about only God can and judge you. Judge that's the worst judge. thing you could ever <laughs> ask for, man. <laughs> that, bro, you do not want the most high to judge you, man. He already. All right? You would rather get a uh, reproof and rebuke from men. The scriptures say, uh, uh, "Let the righteous man smite." Smite, yeah. All right. So, hey, man, you don't want you don't want Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to deal with you, man. Cause that's what, hey, man, when the Lord take his belt off, man. It's all. He unleashed the holy angels, man. He threw. I got a quick one. He unleashed the holy angels. You fuck, boy. This is Proverbs one and seven. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Yeah, I'm gonna preach that for you. Yeah. Think it's hot, man. Yeah, so uh, Jeremiah 422. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are sought as children, they have no none understanding, they are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. They just dumb and won't listen. Retarded, stupid people. That's why two-thirds of y'all dumbass gonna be destroyed. We can't wait. All y'all wanna do is run around follow Esau Edom, knowing his kingdom is over. You bitch ass niggas stay with him. Stay with him, locked up. Y'all gonna get the sword just with his dumb. We can't wait. The end for you is right around the corner. Welcome to hell. That's right. That's right. We love it. Because even Esau know his kingdom is through, man. They say like our people is the only ones that don't want to believe. I would just say, shit, only Esau knows that. You know, and only a few of them really. Outside of us, outside of us, the elect, the hopeful elect, all right, and the elite, everybody else is just oblivious, man. Cannon they problem. really think they finna come up yeah. from this um what's going on right now. <laughs> yeah. Man, you out your goddamn mind, man. The norm is over with, man. Yeah. The norm is over with, man. And first and foremost, nothing was ever normal. All right, nothing was ever normal. But it ain't going back. It's only gonna get worse. That's right. It's only gonna get worse. More, it's only gonna get worse. More draconian. It's gonna get more cutthroat. It's gonna get more scarce. All right, it's gonna just get more and more real. Hey, somebody get that uh, uh, for the love, uh, abundance, the love of many show wax cold. Yeah. Oh yeah. Somebody get that man. I get that. Cause that's it's not gonna get better out here. I got it. Are you here. niggas fucking crazy? Read. This is. He got his words. Matthew twenty four and twelve. And because iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. Hey, the love of many shall wax cold. Yep. Iniquity is abounded, man. All that fucking we are family spirit, hey, that shit is over with. Right. That we are the world yeah, spirit, yeah. that shit is over with, man. All right? It, 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 it's never there in the beginning. Right. But hey, niggas thought it was. You know? What, every 10 years, niggas make that song? We are the world. <laughs> oh, we are the children. You know, that, that shit is over with, man. It, if you don't know by now, something's wrong, man. You can look at the evidence with the uh, written house stuff. Hey, man, shout out, <laughs> Ke hey, shout out Keno Kyle, man. Hey, yeah. All right, my nigga already. beat them charges, man. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, no, man. That was the brother, you know, the brother, the brother brought out the word earlier. He said annihilate. The Lord, before, before this place is annihilated, he's going to exsanguinate this place, man. The blood is going to be ran in this place, man. It's going to be all over the place. You know? And that's what we hasten it for. That's why we come do this work. Because we want this place to fall. That's right. We don't give a fuck about the two-thirds. We don't give a fuck about Esau, Edom. Especially all those that's dealing in iniquity and wickedness, man. Like this cat that just won this case. It's okay for that to be all right, but we are here teaching the word, word for word in the Bible, and it's all bad. It's all bad. You know what I'm saying? Get that trouble. But y'all, y'all not gonna get off from the Lord's court case, man. Read what you got. That's like Psalm seven. That's right. It's First John two and fifteen says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world and the love." The lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away and the lust thereof.
But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Come on, man. Hey, so, hey this place, the Lord's going to come. Hey, just, just, scripture says, think not, it comes to send peace. I cannot send peace, but a soul. Oh, hey, right. good riddance, man. This place is fucking filled with madness, man. Right, hey, don't we hate them that hate the Lord? Right. Hey, fuck these people, man. Fuck everybody that's with this world, man. Oh, man. This place is fucking uh, I got an abomination, man. I got a precept to back you up. This second t Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For our oh, parents, so like, they're being dangerous. Yep. Uh, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. That's where we're at. This is the social media age. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. I ain't even gonna get on these bitches. Wow. Lovers it's, of themselves, man. Yep. You know, go ahead. Idolatrous of themselves, Self, man. Yep. Yeah. self uh, Self love. Self care. Self care. Everything self. Go ahead. Uh, co uh, co covetous. 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 Yeah, covetous. A lot and of the niggas scriptures say, what I was just gonna say, the scriptures say, uh, that's the only when you go, uh, the scriptures say covetous is idolatry. Yep. Right. Yeah. That's right. all I want to say. Right. Hey, the Lord right. really hates covetous, man. Hell. Covetous is also coupled with envy. Yeah. When you see somebody that has something you really want, you begin to envy them. They be hating on Murph. They be hating. You feel that? <laughs> Niggas be hating, man. Murph feel that? A lot, of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people have lost their lives over conventiousness and envy. Oh yeah. The, the only part. Oh, oh, be Sunday night. Oh, I, I, I want weed. Right. Yep. The only, the only, the only uh, covetousness we should have is to covet to prophesy. That's man. it. That's, that's, what, yep. that's it. This is the best gift. You know. Go ahead. Yeah, because that's 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 really going, you know, it's really like desiring to do this. Yeah, yeah. You know, we really that's have right. a deep want to that. That's right. To come to prophesy. Right. But all this this other man, hey, like right. the brother read, man, I think you read the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, yeah. and the pride of the world. This this shit is fading away, man. All right. right. You know? Uh, boasters, proud, mm -hmm. blasphemers, mm -hmm. disobedient to parents. I work with uh children, man. Man, God. <laughs> Unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, uh, incontent, uh, incontinent, all uh, fierce. Now, when you look up fierce, they say savage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking Plato's that channel. Yeah. Fucking uh, mega Savage yeah. Squad records, man. Right, right, right. That right. first nigga he signed was he was a little fucking little boy, man. You remember the little yeah, nigga yeah. Was smoking the blunt? The little I think, I think he was from natural. Memphis. Yeah, he did. Both of the niggas did. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got this bitch, <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce acting crazy. I'm a savage. Oh yeah, like I said. Then, this is Jake's whole thing, man. Right, yeah. Hey, but that's why the scriptures. Matter for somebody real quick, get that. But these like natural brute beasts. Made to be caught and destroyed. I think it's a Peter and it's a Jew. Finish that out though, Kadas. It says You can get either this, one or both. It don't matter to me. It says despisers of those that good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Decadent. That's where you get that word decadence, man, to decay. We're at that stage now, man, where people are just lovers of pleasure, man. Oh, you know, having a form of godliness, but, but denying the power thereof. Just complete deception, man. You know, that's why all these fucking parents, that's why they're so lucrative, man. They have a form of godliness, but they, they totally do everything opposite and contrary to the word of the most right. high. They, man. Show the, they show the creation more than the creator. That's it. Yeah. You, know? uh, uh, you got more? Uh, it says, from such, turn away. All right, let's get the fuck away from me. Get away, get far, far away from these men. Otherwise, you're gonna take part in their ruin and calamity, man, when it comes. That's right. And we ain't got too much time left. Scripture say he that tough pitch shall be defiled therewith. So you hanging out with them bitch ass niggas, you gonna be smoked with them, man. This, this second Peter chapter two and verse 12. <laughs> but these as natural group beasts made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. So you're going to perish in your own doings, man. You read what you sow. That's right. Brute beasts. Brutish. Lack of knowledge and beast-like, man. Hey, man, without the understanding of how watching me outside, you're, you're no different than a goddamn beast in the field, man. You know? 
You only go after the pleasures. You only go after the uh, physical stimuli. Whatever makes you feel good. Whether it be sex, drugs, alcohol, money, rock and roll, whatever, man. You know, and you know what, what, you know what rules the minds of these people? Sex, drugs, and entertainment. You take away sex, drugs, and entertainment, a motherfucker will lose their mind, man. Yeah. Oh. Every damn they have to put them in a goddamn all-white room with a, with a jacket on, man. Hey. They wouldn't know what to do, man. Yeah, let it be a, a, a internet shutdown, bro. Yeah. Right. Motherfucker lose their fucking they mind. That. Shoot. They we had glimpses of that. Right. Oh, damn. Yep, exactly. We had glimpses of it. Like, certain social medias are go haywire for, like, a couple of hours. Motherfuckers losing their mind. That's what they going on other social media. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, right? I'm gonna do that on social media. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? Hey, the, bitch, the bitch ain't get a like on a selfie in three hours. Right, right, right. Hey, right. Some, hey, hey, some, <laughs> hey, some bitch killed herself. She offered herself because she wasn't getting enough likes on her Instagram. Oh, no balance. Yeah. She wasn't getting enough. Good. So, right. Offered herself, bro. That's good. You can look at that shit up. There's probably several pages on that, man. Yeah. Hey, this is the book of my. Chapter, chapter 30, verse 1. It's Isaiah 31. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk down, so like, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Yeah. Hey, so this place, a hey, uh, spiritual Babylon, hey, this is uh, uh, Egypt, man. This is Rome all over again. And these people trust in this oppression. And no, and there, guess what? The scripture just says, woe unto them. Therefore their destruction is coming nigh, because they trust in this oppression. They trust, they, they go to the polls and uh, put kings over them. These, these uh, Edomite dudes, man, these little frail Presidents. dudes, man. I, bro, bro, I was just watching the clip. It was the black woman, she cursed her son out because he, he voted so-called independent. She said, why the hell did you, we told you vote Democrat. So now you look back now, look at what Biden's doing. Right. Your gas is fucking $4. Me, hey, 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 hey. there's a food, there's, a, there's an orchestrated food shortage. Meat is getting more and more expensive. All right, strawberry like seven, eight dollars. Shrink inflation is kicking in, you know. But because what you trust in the shadow of Egypt, so now this shit is being your confoundment and your confusion, man. Now you don't know what the hell's going on, man. Hey, man, Joe Biden, he go get a get a vacuum cleaner up his ass. <laughs> he come all in power for a second, everybody. What's going on? <laughs> hey, this is a foreshadowing of things to come, man. You know Keisha be loving that. Hey, well, I was going to say what? You know what I just thought about? I just had a Murph Piffany. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about this shit. You know, because I was watching the apostles, you know, and, and they had uh, went to it, and they had went to another brother going into it, and uh, he had went to the word Kamala House for Shushy. And this uh, uh, crazy cow got off of this. I said, man. That kind of slowed them niggas down from really tearing this bitch up like they did for uh, George Floyd. Right, right. And they see the black woman get a little bit glow. Hey, look at these. Look. They abandoned the shit. They came back to the top. <laughs> I know they came back home to them. Hey, shoot up, nigga. For real. <laughs> uh, I got a piece of it. Oh, this is Isaiah chapter 31, verse 1. It says, Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for hell and stay on horses and trust in chariots because there are many. And their horsemen, because they are very strong, but they know not unto the Holy One of Israel, they just seek your home. You know, in two thirds of our people, they're not seeking the Lord, man. they going straight to South Edom, man, for one of all things, like the scripture says, man. Hey, I want to say this real quick, man. I speak as a man, you know what I'm saying? Speaking as a man, but at the same time, when all when, uh, this old, uh, uh, this fucking scumbag, Joe Biden, right? This pedo, man, he got into the um, office. I put that on whatever the fuck she is. You know, Kmar Harris. I said, man, it all started with even a serpent. It's right. gonna end with even a serpent. Yes, whether, right. now, whether she is a heathen woman or whether she is a Jake woman, whatever the fuck she is, it don't matter to me. She has the appearance of the nigga woman. And that's what they believe. You know, but I said, so, but she could still be a nigga woman. 
But nevertheless, I mean, look how many niggas she locked up more niggas than Shaq. Oh, man. Come I don't care who up all these. The bitch locked up more niggas than Shaq. Real. I think she actually could be a Jake hey, Boy. But nevertheless, right. but nevertheless, how Eve and the serpent brought it in here, hey, how I started is how it's going to finish. Yes. I honestly believe that. As a man, I believe this this the Lord going back full spectrum. Mm. He's going to shut it down. That's that right. bitch brought sin into the world, and it's going it, to do her. We all die. But now we about to all live when this kingdom get taken right. down, That's man. Right. That's right. Hey, cause Just like Yahweh Shai, firstborn for the dead. We, we going to come back as, as those sons, man, because we going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Places through, man. Hey, I was gonna say, man. Hey, look, man. Freaky Joe, Sleepy Joe. He's not gonna make a full turn. This whole thing is orchestrated, man. Right? He, he's through. He's he's completely fucking senile, man. That nigga. Fucking All right. Does. This this dude. <laughs> hey, man. Your, your current president of the United States suffers from dementia, man. You that nigga walking up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> fucking falling up the stairs and shit, the hey, 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 America, like, America is a laughing stock in the eyes of the bitch world, came man. All here. All right? Hey, y'all, you know America's through, man. He know. You know it, man. Hey, look at the woman. The right? woman ain't even next to you, him, man. man. He's through, man. <laughs> Fuck that. You're a fucking <laughs> cuck, man. <laughs> With an old Navy sweater on. <laughs> man, he's through, man. But you know, he's hey, like you were saying, man. The same way the he's shit really got in, the same way this shit is going out, man. And guess what, man? Hey, man, Kurt Harris. She's getting ready to step up, man. Joe Biden, whether he is, uh, whether he gets the 25th Amendment or whether he just fucking drops dead. Hey, and see, the it's Lord, gonna get real, man. And the Lord don't play that woman ruling shit at all. Oh, no. So yeah. if that does happen, cause, cause look, you gotta understand, Esau is the last reigning king before Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai really comes back. So if that raggedy mouth bitch actually step up, Little the Lord coming in immediately, man. Yeah, immediate. And I firmly believe that. Man. Immediate. I man. firmly believe that. Hey, so you gonna have most of them, bro. Right. You have a big uproar for what? The uh the, the white the delicious? Yeah, the, the, the right man. No, no, look Down what happened. The clansmen. Hey, you know? Hey, Salaki, uh remark you. What happened when that old uh, uh lady tried to set herself up in Israel, man? The Lord had the Levites and them sons come straight up in there. And put that bitch to death. Yeah. And whoever was right, hey, the Lord, do not play that woman ruling shit, man. Right. Hey, why you think? Look, look how rapidly it's now. Prophecy had to come to pass when it said a woman shall compass a man. But in the history of Earth, that that look how long this lasted. That's like 30, 40 years, really. The Lord ain't playing with that shit, man. Right. The Lord does not deal with that shit at all. Shit at all. He had to do it to put us to shame. Right. And, and, and show us what we did to him, because we turned our back on him, man. Right. And thought other guys was better than him, so he put us to shame by putting right. a woman over us. But still very, very firm on his word. The Lord don't play that shit at all. And that's why I tell you brothers, man, don't be listening to these raggedy mouth ass bitches and respecting their opinion, man. Talk to them. It's like when you deal with the white, these old raggedy mouth bitches are, what about your mom? What about it? Her opinion ain't validated over here. I ain't Jody. I can't have sex with her neither. I'm having sex with this bitch. So shut the fuck up. How about that? This second half just chopped the floor in verse 29. Also the, uh, 28. He said, But if concerning the things were well thou asked me, I would tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. The evil is sown. All this wickedness is going on, man. It's sown. All right, and and I hate to say this, man, but Esau, he's he's really just beginning, man. When you look at that movie Ready Player One, they had a whole section in the Oasis where it was just straight up freakism, weird shit going on. It was just like uh, uh American Horror Story. Right, right, right. And, and it's like that. But no, but look, you got the Black Mirror. You got the shit with the metaverse, man. When you look at the uh, advertisement, they showing you freakism. Mm -hmm. Guess what? There's gonna be a virtual realm where all manner of freakism is gonna be going on, man. Yeah. All right. Where, where, where? The things in the virtual world, they will have no precedence over the things that happen in the room. So there's gonna be perverseness on a whole nother level, man. All right. You're talking about goddamn it, uh, pedophilia, bestiality, man. Uh, shit, incest, all, all types of weird. 
weird shit is getting ready to go on in the minds of these people, man. They trying to all right? blur all the lines. They're going to blur all the lines. Yes. It's like, let's make it all gray. Right. <laughs> no black In the spirit of Robin Thicke, man. Blurred yeah. lines, man. Oh, yeah. They're trying to blur them lines, man. And that's getting ready to go on, man. So, hey, this place is going to get so much the more wicked and, and, and vile. But what, man? Hey, we just got to hold on, man, because we almost done. Go ahead. Oh, virtually not. If therefore that which is sown be not beside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then it cannot it come that it's sown with good. And that's why we scream above the ball. Destroy them. Hey, we want the good. We tired of this bullshit, man. Yeah. All right, we tired of this sickness, this folly, this perverseness, man, everything upside down, man. all this oppression, all the pride that goes on here, man. We sick of this shit, man. But we only got a little bit more to go. We never taste the real food. Right. You think that's air you breathe in? You ain't never had sex. You never had a real woman. Yeah, okay. You never had sex. You never had sex. The word sex means to cut. Your 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 phallus it cuts the hymen. If your woman was a virgin, you never had sex. You had sexual intercourse, but you never even had sex. A rose and you never had chicken. You ate a real fruit. Oh, yep. You 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 you've never experienced the real world as you how about you outside meant for it to be. You see? That's we had that at one point. <laughs> you know? And we're getting ready to come back to that. But this shit, it, it, it gotta go. It gotta go. It gotta go. Uh, verse, uh, verse 30. It say, for the grain of evil, see, had been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning. And how much ungodliness had it brought up until this time? And how much shall it yet bring forth into the time of threshing come? And we almost at that time of threshing. Yep. You see this man moving, he's moving because what? He has a short time. The reason why these chariots are constantly popping up is because the time of threshing is coming, man. Right? Yes, I wish unto the heavens and the most I remember her iniquities. It's time for judgment, man. The heart will shut man. That's right. I got a quick one. Oh, what you doing? All right, this is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down on having great wrath because he knows that he but a short time. This guy has spent trillions and trillions upon trillions of dollars to keep us sleep, man. And the Lord said, nope, it ain't happening. That's Psalms 83. Yeah. They made that council. Oh yeah, right? uh, if you know somebody council, get it, get it. They made a crafty council. That's why when you go to these downtown areas, you don't see nothing but the heathens. You don't see nothing with the heathens in power. Yep. You don't see, see the heathens have um, a structured family. They have trust funds. They have transgenerational wealth. Why? Because they cut us off from being a people so that they can flourish above us, man. Yep. All right? That's why we're so, that's why we're under them. And then on top of that, do anything to make uh, our people go off. Right, right, right. So, right. They, can blame, so they can blame us to get to have us from our seal. Yep. They eat yep. pork. They accuse of our brother. They commit right. adultery. You, you think you think this devil don't uh, uh, notice know the scriptures and stuff like that? What to make Jake go off on? All right, he knows uh, the stuff to make Jake go off, man. Hey, of course. To keep him under. Hey, the scriptures say they require a diligent search. Yeah. What do you think that means? All right. Hey, just like the apostle Elder Tahan brought out, you dumbass niggas can't put together a strong concordance. Come on, man. You know, yep. you niggas are stupid, man. Yep. That's why the scripture says in the gospel that the children of this world are wiser than the children of light. Let's go, man. Let's go. Esau, these scholars, they, they smarter than you niggas. How about that? Yeah. How about that? Hey, a lot of Israelite camps ain't deep. They ain't gonna teach that because they don't understand that. Esau is smarter than you stupid ass niggas. Yeah, hey, that's why in Ezekiel the 28th chapter, I think it's the 28th chapter, he said, thou art the anointed cherub that covers, man. He said, thou art wiser, there you go. Thou art wiser than day. That's talking about Esau, man. That's talking about the serpent. That great dragon of old that is called the devil and Satan. That's why he required a diligent search. He's wiser than Daniel. The children of this generation are wiser than the children of light. Esau knows more than you stupid niggas, man, because you niggas don't consider. Out of the brothers in the truth, though. Right, right. I was we got to, his card. The scriptures call Esau a cunning hunter. That's right. A hunter, he understands and studies his prey. He's cunning. He's cunning. He, he's going to search you out. He's going to look at what makes you tick. He's going to study your psychology. He's going to study your biology. 
He's gonna study everything about you. Hey, you man. gotta look, man. And create the nigga. Yeah. What'd you say? I said, and create the nigga. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the nigga. The nigga. Oh man. Oh. He's gonna create I, that. I, I had the Lexi nigga woman the other day, man. You know, she was putting a little bread on the nigga. I ain't even let him put no head on the nigga. <laughs> but right. at the same time, I was I was lacing up. I was letting her know. I said, what you gotta understand is. A nigga is the best. The the, the yes. white man only created two things. The, the yeah. self-proclaimed white man is the beloved of the Malcolm I say. Yep. Has only created two things in this society. Niggas in the patent office. Yep. There but that, that most creation on this side of the earth is the black woman. Black woman yeah. Now, hands down. She's on automatic for the white man. No other race of woman just wake up in the morning, go to social media for millions of eyes to see. Niggas ain't shit. You know what I mean? Bitch, with Tyrone laying right next to him. That's, that's right. Esau. Well, why do you do this? She's the bitch is on automatic, man. She's an android. She'll she wake up. She, hey, man, me and me and Pete, me and Batak was lacing some um some um two feminist uh eating mics, and you know they was trying to buy us and all type of shit. By the time we got done with their ass, and we let them. Nevertheless, and these bitches who like top high level feminists, right, right. and I was saying like y'all can be so deep into this bullshit. And cause you don't, it, 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 like the brother was telling him, you don't, man. Cause you never seen a, a, a Israelite man of any tribe in fellowship to hate men. We don't make these laws. The uh, white man makes this law. Uh, right. But as feminist as you could be, could you see yourself tell a three-year-old child, uh, you just like your ugly ass daddy? They said no. I said my grandma was a black woman. That was the first motherfucking woman to look me in my eyes and say, you a natural. Going fuck up. Fuck the goddamn black woman. Right. She's on automatic for the white man. I mean, and if the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. But unfortunately, you Cinderella today, bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, that's Esau's pit bull, man. Yeah. <laughs> Nino Brown and this Rottweiler, man. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Nino? Say that to the camera. What the fuck oh, you telling me for? <laughs> no, um, <laughs> earlier today, you know, me and my baby mom, we've been, you know, split. Yeah, because I told him he should have been at the White Castle. <laughs> But uh, you know, long, long story short, she pregnant again. She just found ah, out today. Yeah. Oh, she four man. months pregnant. She told me like, man, if it's a boy, I don't want it. You you can have this baby. I don't want it anyway. She was like, especially if he come out looking like you. But that's something that women do. You see that? And this is why I tell brothers that's cold. That's cold, outside of our race, when it comes to a woman. Hey, we the highest valued men on the planet. We the most wanted, Fact. we the most desired, Fact. we the most fantasized Fact. about. Inside, we the most hated. We the most disrespected, we the most looked down on. Man, you couldn't pay me to deal with a black bitch. Go ahead. I love it. <laughs> Psalm 83, verse three. No. I'm they sorry, have brother, I hear recalls. Start over from the top. Kind of. Psalm 83 and one, a song or some of a song. Keep now thy silence. Salakia, keep keep not thou silence, O power. What? Hold not thy peace. And be not still, for lo, thine enemies make it tumult. And they that hate thee lift it up the head. So all these nations that are conglomerate together, they they really hate the most high. Yep. Yeah. That's why they took the council, because they can't touch the most high. So who they gonna touch? Us. He's, he's annoying his children. You see? So what is it you got to say do? touch not my anointing to do my fathers no harm. Exactly. And ultimately they did that to our, our whole entire nation. You say right. what I now father's our father's father's cool. Then you go back and then Esau's doing it because it goes back to that blessing. But keep going, bro. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. That's the crafty counsel. That's why they have these G3 summits. That's right. Are they yes. these, these world class yes. And that's why, hold on, hold on, no, I wanted to just land back off the brother. He said they had these G3 summits. Ain't no niggas in there, man. Right? Not a oh, one. No. Ain't no Latinos in there. Not a one. Ain't no Native Americans in there. And if you do see some dude representing like some Mexico or some bullshit, he's a terror, man. Oh, yeah. He's a white man. He's a Spaniard's grandson. And I'm going to tell you something. That's why in the book Isaiah, what is the second chapter or the first chapter, they go into the hills, go into the mountains. Those are nations. That's what's the top of a mountain? A summit. That's why they call it a summit meeting. That's why the Lord, that's how you know that the Lord is talking about nations when he says hills, mountains, things of that nature.
That's what he's talking about, man. That's how that was a good point he brought up with that summit. Cause they're at the top, man. You niggas ain't in there, man. You niggas ain't in there, man. You niggas are base, man. Right. It's stupid. Right. And guess what? Shit rolled down here. Facts. Some 83 and 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against the thy hidden one. So why are you trying to have buddy buddy with them and be best friends with them, with the enemy, man? They took a whole crafty council against our people, man. They trying to keep it secret that uh we're the uh, children of the most high, man. Well that's why they, what I was gonna say, well that's why they not going against them. Because they don't know who they are. Yeah. You can't be your enemy is if you don't know who you are. A lion knows he's a he Damn. knows his prey. Yeah. He knows his atmosphere. Yeah. Right. A lion knows he's a lion. But if I take my side as a cat and teach you a dog and a <laughs> frog and all this bullshit, yeah. when you go your ass out with the, with a group of dogs, they maul you, man. And that's our piece. Man, woman, and child. Every day. From the so-called black man, woman, and child to the Latino man, woman, and child, yeah. the Native American man, woman, and child. And that's why Esau, especially with the Negro man, of the sect of tribes. That's why Esau took us out the household, man. All right? Because he could easily get to the cubs and the woman, man. See, this, this, this man, it goes back to him being a cunning hunter, man. And, and, the, and the woman, the woman, listen, and that's why, and that's, and, 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 and going back to what I was telling that, telling that hair hat wearing Harlot, you know, the other day. Cause she was talking about, well, oh, I deal with the white man. I said, I hope you do, bitch. Stay the fuck away from me. That's right. When a man deals with a woman of other nation, it shows dominance. It shows that he has conquered that nation. So you're just a bad witch. You're getting conquered. I'm capitalizing. I'm representing the kingdom of heaven coming back. Because the nations are going to be in subjection to us. You're showing simplicity and being subjected to the other nation. Yes. Bitch, you can't play with me. That's right. This is first Peter chapter like. Verse 4. Psalm 83 and verse 4. They have said, <laughs> Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That's why you are. Uh, that's why you think you're black. Sure. Right. This goes all the way back. They said, Let us go and cut them off from being a nation. Give them some black for them. Like exactly. that, so right, that goes down into what? Destroying your family? You know, taking the father out of the household? Right? Putting the woman on top. Yeah. 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 This, 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 this is cutting you off from being a nation. Because the nation starts with the man. Right. The lineage. That's order. Yes. And he's ordered from the what? Y'all watch me outside. Order. There's an order, man. But if they take that man, it, that's why the scripture says if you bind the strong man first, which is the father of the of the household, then you can spoil the woman, you can spoil the kids. Right. Yeah, this is Sirach 30 and 3. He that teaches his son right. grieveth the enemy. Right. He Hold on, did it say she? He that right. teaches his son grieveth the enemy. Wait a minute. So a man naturally has enemies. That's Everything right. on this planet of the earth naturally has enemies, man. That's right. Everything. How much more the most dominant nation of men on the planet of the earth? Right. Everybody else is our enemy. That's how you know we the cream of the crop. Right. You dumb nigga. Come on, man. Last one. Verse 4. Though his father died, yet he is as, as though he were not dead. For he has left one behind him that is like him. That's right. And they separate them. Whoa. Hey. They separate them by taking that father. That's all you do. Hey. You know? And my daddy was a stone cold nigga, man. Like, I, I was a nigga too, but that dude was a stone cold, old school, professional, real nigga. <laughs> but at the same time, before the most I took him out, I remember my daddy vividly sitting me and my older brother on the bed, opening the scriptures in fourth grade, I'll never forget it. And he told us straight up, look man, the white man is the goddamn devil. Don't ever believe shit he say. I don't care about this shit in your grandma living room. The white man is the goddamn devil, boy. I, I, mean, I, I didn't resonate with me, but I'm like, shit, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm with it. <laughs> You know? Right. Yeah. Come on, mate. Come on. It, 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 fuck it, Mark. He, he got the white. He got that classic bus. Going <laughs> to the heart is uh... <laughs> Right, right, right. They got old Mary up in that motherfucker. <laughs> right. <laughs>
Hey, you, know, so, you know what's so ironic, though? All in the fucking living room, man. Jake's so ironic with the shit, right? Jake say he believe in the Lord. He's going to get tattoos of the Lord. But don't do nothing that the Lord says. Oh, yeah, we said all enough. That's the spirit. The second time it's coming out. Nigga got you. <laughs> That's wild, man. Hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. John 316. Oh, Philippians. Say <laughs> no, favorite one. Oh, oh man, scroll. that's that's when you heavy. You <laughs> you you deep when you got the scroll. You got oh, your <laughs> 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 nigga from my hood, man. Hey y'all remember the nigga, man? Look, cocky nigga, he used to come up to the camp on the K. You remember Bam? Yeah. Oh, he got he got most. Man, this nigga, man. That's the one that was Bring this nigga to the man. No, not not him, not him. Oh, okay. The other nigga, he be on the K. I, this nigga all bugged out. Uh, but I, I think he back locked up. But this nigga gonna look at me, man. I say, Ben, what's up, though? Still dealing. That nigga said, man, I had to. I know it's off, fool. <laughs> this fucking nigga, man. That nigga got your howl. Yeah, no. your howl. I said, I can't stand it. <laughs> Got it, man. <laughs> He's a head. I know. Jake is a fucking lunatic, man. I had to. Thank you, niggas, man. I said, you know what, man? I, what? I did what I done did, man. I done did what that nigga's crazy, man. And the Lord is preserved it. This nigga done got, he ain't get shot five times. This nigga got shot five different times. I said, the Lord really got something. This is a super nigga, man. He, he one of my homies, man. I liked it. I, man, I, that's my nigga, man. But you, you can't deal with these. He got the two things. Take man. it. Yeah, that's the two things. He shot me five times. Real no time. Baby. That nigga said, I know it's. I know this shit is all. I know. See the average nigga in the Philippines. Christianity I don't know what that nigga said, man. He said he know it. I said, come on. You didn't do that. You didn't do that. Jake, Jake is out their mind, man. Jake out their fucking mind, man. Hey, man. Man, you wanna call me getting deep? Thinking he getting deep? Yeah, that's is all. Yeah, man. I think. Even the turkey is going off. I look, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you just got a whole fucking. <laughs> These niggas give me a headache, man. I'll be ready to have a fucking heart attack, man. That's why I don't even bring nobody to the line no more. Not, not niggas I know. The door is shutting like that. Right. I got a quick one. <laughs> Proverbs 14, verse 12 says, There's a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Let's go. That's what it is, man. Jake thinks their way is the right you. way. And the scripture says, if you believe it on me, as the scripture has said, hey, you know, real, out of your belly, out of your belly, belly before real. That's right. Hey, see, I believe what the, what the scripture say. Hey, fuck with how you feel, how what you think. What you, hey, it's what the scripture says. It's ain't nothing I understand. That's that spirit, but <laughs> they, they, they had that spirit with Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, come do this. Come get right from the Lord. They said, no, we're going to do it after whatsoever we want. They want to do it. Hey, we're going to do whatever we want to do. And it go back to, right, cool. hey, and I'm going to tell you something. That's a feminine spirit, man. That's yeah. a rebellious nigga woman spirit. That's why it says in Jeremiah, the 44th chapter. Get it right now. Get, look, you see? You see, nigga? Get, get Jeremiah 44. Get, go to 4. I got and then John 17. This is Jeremiah. That's where you niggas get that shit from, man. The black woman. That's right. Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 44 and 4. Howbeit I sent you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. All right. Especially with the unicorn around, that satellite technology. Right. All right. You grab your phone, you go watch some big booty on World Star Hip Hop. Right. Any time of the day. Or you can click on the prophets, man. I'll be walking down the street from morning to fucking four in the morning making a video. Just to see another brother just did one. And I'm asleep, another brother on the clock. He sleep, the apostles on the clock. The elders, niggas, and that last on the clock. You niggas ain't got no goddamn excuse, man. The Lord said the prophets rising early and they judging you niggas. Read, brother. Verse 5. But they hearken not, nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness to burn incense unto other gods. Hey, my people don't even consider, man. All right? They love doing wickedness, man. They surpass the deeds of the wicked. Man. Hey, right? because you know what? You know what? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh gave 
the law, statutes, and commandments to Israel. He didn't give it to these heathens. He didn't give it to thee, especially not Esau. And he the only heathen who really, really, really wanted it. But at the same time, they can't, they can't do righteous. So with Jake being able to do righteous, when they do wicked, they surpass it. They, they the worst niggas on the planet because they actually have the ability, like the younger brother um, Zakari was bringing out earlier. We have the right to call upon the name of the Most High. They don't. Read, read. This is Jeremiah four fifteen. Then all the men which knew that their wives. Oh, you see this? You see this? It go back to the lesson we did yesterday, man. Every dude's a king. Do some super Israelite to the come to with in battle. Right. <laughs> right. To the, to the black woman walk up. On, to that bitch say, right. I'm leaving you. Right. Oh no, baby, I was just. Right. And get right in that right. Romeo spirit. Right. Hold on, let me right. bust it for <laughs> Maybe it's you. you say I was up inside. I was up inside. Oh, yeah. I'm keeping you right. I just want to be with the girl. Me <laughs> and Jesse Powell spirit. Keep I need to curse brothers out. Right. Curse niggas out. You ain't say shit to that black bitch, though. Go ahead. Uh. It says, then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense to other gods. You see that? The wives burned incense to other gods, man. And that's the first thing you bitch ass niggas say, man. Oh, what about King Solomon? You know, he um he was with them Edomite women and these other women and did this. Hey, the Lord set that up for that to happen like that, man. The scriptures say the things are written four time before I learned it. Hey, now we know we can fuck the bitches, but we don't do this. Hey, these were the black women. How about that, you fuck? Bitch ass niggas, man. Wait. It says, and all the women that stood by a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt and Patros, <laughs> answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word which you have spoken to us, in the name of Yahweh Shem so, uh, we will not hearken unto you. We will not, because right. the damn black woman, man. Jeremiah was a prophet predominantly to the kingdom of Israel, that's man. Right. That's right. You that's niggas don't know the Bible. Fuck you, nigga. That's right. Verse 17. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing coming forth out of our own mouth. God damn. Burn incense to the queen of heaven. To what? To burn incense to the queen of heaven. To do what? To burn incense to the queen of heaven. You stupid ass niggas worship the black woman and you gonna die for it. Right. I know it's it is. The it's, right. it's no doubt about that, that man. Right. It's no doubt about that. I will love. This Revelation 22 and started 10. Of course it's the same niggas. Oh yeah. It's no doubt about it. You got more top over. Yeah, you said about it. You got it. This is Revelation 22, verse 10. And he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Uh-huh. For the time is at hand. The time is at hand. So now is the time of judgment. Verse 11, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Uh -huh. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. So them unjust niggas are right back in they same lot, drinking that same fucking bath water, right. acting like a goddamn fool for the fucking black woman, man. Right. And the most high is going to flip you niggas upside down. Hey, because this is a big nation. Yeah. All right, two thirds are a big number. And it's way more Israelite women than it are Israelite men. You niggas following them right. bitches gonna get fried right up with them. You gotta get on the Northern Kingdom too, man. Yeah, that's All why right. I said the whole nation, man. Them, y'all niggas going off, man. Hey, hey, man. They'll motherfucking, these niggas will walk from Little Village Berwick. <laughs> <laughs> with a yeah. fuck, with, 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 with fucking three pounds of bread. Yeah. All right. All right, some goddamn flan. All right, for, for, for the fucking, you know what I mean? For the praise and worship service of, uh, you know what I mean? For, you know, for whatever that bitch, uh, Maria. Maria. Yeah, for Maria, man. You know what I mean? She reminds me of a West Side so you Right, right. That's, hey, that's the spirit, because the apostle of the on that last, that, that last one he did, the marriage of the lamb, he yeah, went to yeah, Hosea. Yeah. He was predominantly a prophet to the northern, to the northern yes. but that's yes. what they were doing too. Yes. You know, it all goes back to these, Yes. Look, man. And it was, and for the Zeke, niggas out of my, out of y'all fucking mind, man. Yeah, Ezekiel had uh, the Lord had to kill Ezekiel's on. Uh, Ezekiel's on. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, Ezekiel might have been in that, you know. That's picture, man. No. He might have been getting a little bit more for the kill of his wife. No, 
out, man. The Lord showed him. The Lord showed him the ministry, man. He showed him that he got to keep going no matter what. He put him to death. He told him to tie his nature, and he told him to preach this gospel. And do not mourn. And do not, do not mourn. mourn. And he, and he said, the wife of your sister, he took her, he told, her, he told Ezekiel, do not mourn. You got work to do. Do not weep. Meanwhile, they wrong. He put Ezekiel through it. He said, look, you're going you're gonna to sleep on your left hand side right. for X amount of days. You're going to sleep on your right side for X amount of days. He told him, hey, man, you're going to eat human shit. He said, Lord, I never ate nothing like, okay, you're going to eat cow shit then. Amen. The Lord put his prophet. Amen. Isaiah around butt naked for three years. How about Love that? Butt ass naked as a sign to Israel, man. Prophesy. All right. Amen. The men of the Lord will reveal, man. The men of the Lord what this world perceived as mad men. That's right. All right. And, and, and we're like that now. And the scriptures say we are made a spectacle unto angels and men. You don't know I'm a man. man. You know? You ain't watching the right <laughs> videos. Come on, man. And we look fucking crazy, these people, man. It's a fool. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
know Paul, Paul was heavy like that because the Lord put the spirit on him to be brought up like that. You know? I mean, I hope so. Hey, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26. It says... Oh, you got it. I, I, I mean, look, we still read. still read. Verse 25. It I says. Going through, yeah? He read. He still uh, read. No, verse 24. This first question chapter 1 and verse 24. But unto them that which are called, both Jews and Greeks, from Mashiach, the power of the Most High and the wisdom of the Most High, because the foolishness of Yahweh is wiser than men, and the weakness of Yahweh is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh. Not many mighty, not many noble are called, but the most I have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. You see that? The foolish things in the world to confound the wise. Because if we had on a suit and a tie, you know these simple Negroes, these niggas that come out here. Right. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Right. Here's them Jakes. Here's them Jakes. They put on their they so-called white voice and shit. What's going on? That old crazy nigga who just had that liquor. He wouldn't, he wouldn't even came. Come on, man. You know, he, he, wouldn't came, he wouldn't even came up here, man. Right. But these are the foolish things in this world. Like I said, I've been like a couple fucking months in high school. I ain't got no fucking education. Right. You know? We don't, we not equipped, so to speak, you know, according to this world. But we do have the spirit. And that's what makes this mighty. Keep reading, man. And it says, in Yahweh, I chose the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Right. We don't have a military, we don't have a banking system, we don't have nothing but this word. That's by going back, because the brother Yasharala had mentioned the uh, apostles like Peter did. He said silver and gold we do not have, but the word, the word, they have, and they was perceived as unlearned men. Verse 28, it's saying, base things of the world and things which are despised had the most I've chosen, yea, the things which are not to bring to not things that are. And these are the most despised people on the planet of the earth right now. You know, these are the most based people on the planet of the earth right now. Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans in their ghettos, on the selective hoods. And they see us with this knowledge. That's why Yahweh Shai said himself, I will give you a mouth of wisdom which they will not be able to gain, say, nor resist. That's why I say through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Amen. When we first stepped in front of John Marshall Law School, it was a fucking beat down oh, every man. week. Every uh, week, man. Literally and, and spiritually. And spiritually. For real, you man. You know? Because we had to fight the niggas and confound the, the, the so-called scholars that came out there. Right. Especially right. the Amalekites that came out there. They got beat downs. Now, those videos are tore down, of course, yeah. but they got beat downs. I'm talking about 2012, 2013, 2014. They got embarrassed down there, man. That's right. By niggas. Hold on, bring this out real quick, verse 8. Ezekiel 3 and 8. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, uh -huh. and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. That's right. Amen. What does it say as an adamant? Adamant flint. Hard head. Go ahead, verse 9. As an adamant, hard and flint have I made thy forehead. Adamant. That's where your next man, that shit Wolverine was made out of, was adamantium. So our heads and our faces are stronger against theirs. Go ahead. Go ahead. As an adamant harder than a flint have I made thy forehead. Uh -huh. Fear them not. Uh -huh. Neither be dismayed at their looks. Uh -huh. Though they be a rebellious house. Amen. That's our people, man. But the Lord said, don't fear them, man. All right? In their face, man. He said, I made you harder than them, man. Hey, did not Moses serpent eat up the serpent of the Pharaoh, man? Right. All right, hey man, hey man, we harder than these people, man. And that's where a lot of the envy comes from, man. From a lot of people, man, because what? The spirit is upon us to do what's not, to do what will not. We in that bird man spirit, nigga. We gonna uh, load up, a lot more, a lot more ammo, keep fucking bitches, and I ain't gonna get full. <laughs> I'm full of blood. That's right. That's right. That's right. That nigga bird man say we in that bird, you know. We full of blood, man. Let's <laughs> go back to the, uh, because what the Lord That gave resonated word, with Jake, man. The Lord gave us his word. He said his word, break it in pieces wow, of the wow, box. Wow. So that, that combined with him giving us the spirit, him giving us the, uh, the, 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 the head harder than uh, the adamant flint. This, it's undestructible. This, that's why they, they say this truth is, uh, this truth is, is, is impenetrable, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't that's get through this. What did he say? He made us a fortress, yeah. a strong city. 
You're not gonna put the hell not gonna prevail against it. Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 14. Wherefore does say that I will power of hosts because he speak this word. Behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and his people would, and it shall devour them. All right, so y'all don't look stupid trying to come up against the man of the Lord. You're going to come up here and get smoked. Right, you come, you come up here, you're going to get your face melted. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. I got to preach that. That's right. This song. Um, this is Revelation chapter 1. Oh, you this is Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Yeah. So like it. For the word of Yahweh is quick uh -huh. and powerful uh -huh. and sharper than any two edged sword, uh -huh. piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul That's and spirit mm -hmm. and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner, discerner so like it, of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Right, so hey man, when somebody come with that bullshit, all you gotta do is follow the spirit and bring out the word. You are gonna see what they be thinking, you know? Yeah, the script. Yeah, like we can do with no man pursuing. Foolishness, foolish man. And the scriptures say, uh, the trial of man is in his reasoning. The scriptures also say, honor and shame is in talk. So hey man, all you gotta do is ask certain questions, bring out the scriptures, and the motherfuckers gonna tell you how they feel. They gonna reveal themselves how they feel, man. They was raised by the black woman. They ain't got no emotional. Emotional, man. <laughs> Emotional. And the amen, the word is gonna bring that shit out of him, man. Every single time. As soon as you say something a nigga don't agree with, it's gonna show who he is. Every single you time. You know, that's gonna like right. Hey man, check this shit out, right? He didn't get on Facebook, right? But nobody like your shit. No, nobody look at it, nobody share it, nobody comment on it. Say some shit that nigga don't like. Hey, amen. These no. niggas, a group of old niggas, all these bitch ass yeah. niggas. Come out the woodwork. I mean, I feel, nigga. I feel niggas like just ignoring like the rest of this fly ass shit. That's right, man. Goddamn. Soft ass nigga. Uh, in, in the Carl Thomas group, man. So emotional. What's the man? Dude, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Nigga say what's the man? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, my man. shit, man. Whatever y'all got. Carl Thomas ass niggas, man. In the spirit of Carl Thomas, man. That's why the scriptures say, uh, blessed is he who's not offended in you. That's right. A lot of these motherfuckers get offended because of the word, because it goes against their flesh. Yeah. You know? The Lord. Man love yeah. darkness right than light. Right. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Peace out. Uh, this second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 14. Perfect. Let go from these mortal thoughts, uh -huh. cast away the burdens of man, uh -huh. put off now the weak nature. Amen. Weak. The weak nature, being emotional, man. Uh, All right. All that shit your mama taught you uh, being a man was about, you got to throw that shit out the window. Right, your man. mom ain't never held her dingaling and took a piss a day in her life. But she going to tell you everything <laughs> right. about being a man. Come on, man. <laughs> and you ain't never seen a man in her house over 30 minutes to an hour, you know? You might have seen the two pump chest, you a popsicle or something, so you can shut up while he banging him. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Give me a dollar. Give me a dollar. I'll leave you alone. Shorty pull out that fat ass roll. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is your juicy juice like her. I'm about to say this. Uh, this is what you get. This is, fine, man. That this is what you get when you got Keisha that raised boys to be men. Look at society. That go back to the Like that. It's a new thing in the earth, man. This was never, this never happened in history before. Oh, yeah. well, exactly. This is new. That's why it's a blessing. Yep. It's really a blessing for brothers that you know grew up in that type of environment hey, to actually come that. into this truth. That means sure, yeah. that shit, you I'm might be a some type of man. You gotta go through. You have to deal with that. Deal with the, the Lord is heavenly dealing with you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or you end up like oh, that's four right. mil. Four mil. With that pants hanging now. Right. Or you come a uh, uh, side man. Right. You know. So. Those yeah. are the two roles that can be so created when you step into the father of the household. Yeah. For you to become a homosexual or to become a, a nigga. A degenerate man. A degenerate man. Uh, uh, you see that? A degenerate. Because when you go into degenerate, every generation it gets lower and lower, right? Yeah.
this, this is the last, this is the last one. That's why I said men shall uh slot get slot get. Uh, women shall give uh, birth to ministers. Ministers, women shall give birth to monsters. And these women are unclean and they're great. Little little creatures, man. Little niggas. Little nigga nuggets, man. I just want to take them and punt their glass. They raising these kids and ones we all out of the and shit. Yeah, and them niggas didn't even bring me no Gucci belt. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> Little rascals, <laughs> <laughs> fucking little rascals, man. <laughs> they make you stymie, yeah, baby. This second, I just dropped the five in verse eight. This second, I just dropped the five, verse eight. He said, There shall be a confusion also in nations, and the fire shall be off, sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and ministers, mistress, and women shall bring forth monsters. to the image of the beast and ultimately you would have took the problem man just for you to write wake up fame in the kingdom you would have came across the prophets you would have looked down on them you would have talked shit about them you would have criticized them i hear brothers it's a blessing when you are ostracized from this world man it's a blessing when you are ostracized from your family man what you got Robert? This is the book of Ecclesiastes, 25 and 24. First, of the woman, of the woman came at the beginning of sin, and through her we all died. Yeah, so basically, you know, at the birth of the mother, the woman, the so-called black woman, was the number one suspect. Yeah, I know. It's putting the child against, you know, putting the child against the father, something the father did. Yeah, you're number one murderer of me, bro. The number one. Are they even coming to the world? I ain't even talking about the black woman. I ain't even hear what they said. <laughs> they said the most dangerous place to be is in a black woman's womb. Yeah. Because you know, she she, she going straight to the top shop, man. Yeah. You'd be yeah. surprised how many black kids to the top shop. Hey, man, Kanye, work it out, man. You said over half, over half of you Negroes get, get straight to the chop shop, man. I didn't have two bitches to the chop shop, we right. didn't even know it until like months later and shit. Right. You, be, you be talking to a bitch, you know, this is not a deal with black women here and there, and I still fuck one or two, maybe. But nevertheless, I, mean, I got a lady, I owe these niggas, man. You know, hey, look, I can do y'all all the time. Y'all can't work at the white castle. Anybody can get a black woman. You know, I do it a little bit once in a while. My nigga, a little jab to the body or something. One of them quick flops, you know. But at the same time, you be hollering at the bitch, bitch. Oh yeah, man, yeah, man. I was, I'm thinking you can with the next door or some shit. Like damn, bitch, what's up? Yeah, man. I ain't even gonna lie, man. I had to go for the damn. You did that? <laughs> yeah, I'm goddamn. These women are yeah. man. And I ain't saying that the white woman won't either, but right. them bitches are the main culprit, man. They all sacrificed a whole lot, man. They all, oh, man, yeah. and, then, and them little babies. Going straight to the dollar menu. Yeah. For you niggas that like Mickey D's. Yeah. That's what I'm avoiding. Look at Lil' Ock, man. I done <laughs> fucked up his whole lunch. You know, the camera, <laughs> man. <laughs> camera, man. <laughs> you better stop being that bullshit. <laughs> Wait, what you say? Yeah. No, literally. <laughs> they had a lawsuit against that man. They brought the court of human fetuses and captured him. Literally, 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 they literally, they literally, Hey man, facts, facts, I ain't go by Stem cell research, where you think stem cells coming from? Ain't no damn Burger King, Murder King. Yeah. Ain't no Big Donald's. 
You ain't that yeah. fucking McDoo, that's what you eat. Mick Nigger. Right, you think you got a nugget? Mick Nigger. Mick Keisha, right? He said Mick Folks. Mick Folks. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, he saw Mick the damn Lord. devil, Mick Lord. Mick Folks. You eat these niggas that's getting Mick smoked. Folk. You eat these damn niggas that's, uh, in, the, in the chop shop, man. You know? I'm telling you, I'm just speaking these are facts, man. That's I done had crazy. a couple bitches go to the top shop on me, That's man. That's crazy to hear, bro, man. I had a bitch go to the top shop on me with twins. Yeah, see, look at your The black yeah. woman got a baby. Yeah, she killed my kids. There you go. I had a baby this year. There you go. Hey, so we ain't just no, oh, oh, he man. We ain't the little rascal he that he man wanna hate. We know what you bitches deal with, but at the same time, they like the apostle of the boss say, this is control now. You ain't seen the wrath yet. The Lord ain't even put the spirit. Well, first of all, don't even get a bitch to power to piss me off. You know, pimp jail over that. You know, but nevertheless, this bitches all over ticks, man. You can get mad at no black woman, man. That's just like you get mad when you see a dude on the alphabet community. Look, right. man, the black right. woman is going to be adulterous. The black man is going to have a broke wrist. Right. These niggas are going to... I don't get mad when I see niggas, man. They just hanging. All this shit is going to go on to the Lord come back. That's right. That's right. Us showing that they don't violate our emotions or violate our space. You know what I'm saying? That shows power, man. Fortitude. Yep. Mental stability. That's right. You know? So I'm not mad at the black woman. I'm not mad at Pookie. Right. I got a power to piss me off. And this is the beautiful thing about it, man. When, when all hell starts to break loose, it's that mental stability in that fort. Matter of fact, somebody grab Isaiah 33. Hey, 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 look, it's that, it's that thing that's going to keep you afloat, man. All right? Because, hey, you got to understand, when the prophets prophesying about destruction, famine, pestilence, <laughs> they were in that shit. They had to see that shit. Hey, yeah. Jeremiah had to see. He had to live through Jerusalem being sieged. Motherfuckers starved to death. What is uh, all type of shit? Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Yeah, I'm, sitting, I'm sitting amongst the captives. That's what he said. He had to say shit, Let man. Let me tell you this real quick, man. You gotta understand. Yahweh Shah himself suffered man. the worst death a man could ever suffer. He said he was not, he was more, more than any man. And he took that shit on the chin. Right. But the scripture said he wept for Jerusalem. He wept. Because of what was going to happen to them. Come on, man. So you really got to imagine what the Lord is going to do to you next. Come on, man. Somebody it's going to be worse this one. time. You got to really understand. We, go ahead. You niggas ain't deep, man. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. This is the strength of salvation. This wisdom and knowledge, all right, that you're being put on to, this is the strength of your salvation. This is going to be the stability of your times. Because what? Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, he forewarned you. I was going to smoke these niggas. You came out every Saturday and you preached the word. So when these things begin to happen, you can't like, oh shit, you can't waver. You can't bitch up, man. This is what you wanted. Somebody grab Psalms 91. Right. A thousand shall fall. Go ahead. This Psalm chapter 91 and in verse, in verse 6. It says, Lord, for the pestilence that walking in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted in long day, a thousand shall fall at thy side, uh -huh. and ten thousand at thy right hand. So that's a lot of death. You gotta understand, that's a lot of judgment happening. You're gonna be in that shit. All right, all the prophets, of old, they were in that shit. They were in the siege. All right, they got your motherfuckers. The sword gonna get you. Them that are in the city, the famine gonna get you. All right, they had to see women eating their children. They had to see motherfuckers eating leather, eating tree leaves, eating grass, eating, eating animals, eating shit, eating all kind of, hey amen, the they were in that, That's man. Right. You got to understand, we're getting ready to go through that again, man. But even worse, all right, this shit they got going on now, man, it's about to turn motherfuckers into that shit, man. All right, into that shit. A time like never before, so you got to understand the great water calamity that befell our people back then, it's gonna be even worse now, man. You wanna yeah. see the shit? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Huh? It said, but it shall come, it shall not come like thee. Uh huh. Mm. It shall yeah. not come near thee, man, but you're gonna be in it. You're gonna be in it. You gotta understand, man, you're gonna be stepping over dead babies. You're gonna be stepping over dead children. All right, you're gonna look over, you're gonna see 
13 motherfuckers eating the fucking baby. That's right. Fighting each other and shit. This is what you're getting ready to see. Like Book of Eli. I was right. just gonna say, you seen the Book of Eli. Yeah. Man, Brothers Max. Mitch of the Look Road. Hands, man. Uh, Mad Max. Right. A whole lot of that. Time 50. You guess what? It's gonna be great judgment proceeding forth, man. It's gonna be a whole lot of that uh, stomp action, man. It's gonna be a whole lot of that foot going on, man. All right? Like, like the buyer in the streets, man. It's gonna be heavy footwork on these hoes, man. You gotta understand what's getting ready to happen, man. You said rise of these women that are eating. Dude! The Lord gonna fucking kill you, bitch. Uh -huh. That's right! Go ahead, huh? Every time I see the, you, you see the black, every time I see the black oh, phone, I just wanna take a shit. That's <laughs> good, <laughs> that actually happened last time I saw could you imagine being in the house with that bitch? Hey, that's why the scripture say. Go ahead. Hey, it says better is uh to sit on the corner of a house side than dwell in the house with a uh a wicked. That's the bitch he's talking about, man. Hey, that's that, that's that, man. Yeah, I told tough. you, man, that I'll be in the white bitch's crib, man. Right, man. Under that big old blanket, man. Right, man. Badass. Right. Hey, right. Hey, all man. you hear, you know, man, you wake all you hear is a bitch smiling and some eggs cracking. Hey, he's still my hair, man. You hey. can, you can bitch smile so hard you hear, man. Hey, hey, hey. Good Lord, hey, damn. This man gonna lock himself in the bathroom. Oh, 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 so lock it. This is a true story. <laughs> True story. So, yeah, uh, one of my real mothers, quick, you know, one of the hit a hit a grace of mine. I get this bitch. I get this bitch her three minutes of fame to hear my glorious voice of my choice. You know what I'm saying? I get this bitch her little three minutes of fame. She come, act like she talking about my kids. Whatever. So, this bitch gonna say to me, right? This is a true story, man. This is this day. It was on the Sabbath, right? So this bitch calling me, right? I'm in deep thought. She break my piece. I said, man, what the fuck you, what's up, man? This bitch gonna say something. Yeah, and um, I don't care. Ooh, she said some other shit first, but then she gets to this, talking about something. I know you be out there fucking with all them white women, but why do you have to go to social media and persuade other black men to not fuck with black women? I said, bitch, I know your boyfriend. I told him to do the same shit. I did, the nigga called me. This nigga in the summertime. Cause I know I actually know this cool ass nigga, man. He know me. Cause we all from the hood, the same hood. Relatively, right? This is this is the ghetto shit, man. You chillin', man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I ain't trying to, you know, just be in here. I can tell you, bro, in front of your kids and all this. Bro, look, I don't care about none of that shit. What do you want? He, man, I told this brother when he did it. He man told this bitch, I, this bitch is crazy. I said, I know the bitch crazy. <laughs> I know I got two kids by this bitch. I know she's out of line. This, this, this is, this is, you gotta understand, this is my ex-wife boyfriend, man. <laughs> this is how, I, I look, man, the best thing I can tell you is, do the same shit I do. Leave that bitch and get with the white woman. <laughs> and so, why you, listen man, I'm out here, I'm paying for rent, I'm sitting on the porch talking to you. I said, I can just be you dumb. Right. Get the white woman. <laughs> Do you even realize what you're doing? <laughs> man, that bitch gonna call me. Probably three months later. Look man, the black woman is finished man. The black woman is finished man. You niggas in that fucking Jesse Powell spirit. That shit is over with, man. God damn, man. Could you act like a king and get served? Hey, you added more. I hate you niggas, man. You added more burden to yourself, man. You added more stuff to yourself, man. We're under curses, man. Like, why you need to deal with Keisha, bro? And that, that, that old, that old, that goddamn water buffalo.
This is Rock Man. Martin Boo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fat Boo. That, 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 that word about was walk past. But I, now, I wonder if we was just some two Negroes and felt like we wanted to stomp the shit out of somebody today. <laughs> she would have been a perfect candidate. That's coming. She would have been a perfect candidate. Hey, get get my get get Mike a seven and ten. Get Isaiah thirty two and nine. That's coming. Hey, bring 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 the scriptures. It's Micah chapter seven verse ten. Hey, it's Salaki. Get Jeremiah. No, get Lamentations uh four and nine. Get that too. Cause we don't read the scriptures, man. Let's go. Micah don't let the Bible speak. Micah seven and ten says that she that is my enemy shall see it. And shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is thy Lord, thy power? You know? And that's what these women said. And I don't give a fuck if that bitch here, that head, that head wrap, go to the top of the sea of time. Well, that bitch don't believe in the Lord. The Lord just said that this is your enemy, man. You think the Lord, some nigga that just like to hear himself talk? I don't even like that. As much as my, as, as beautiful as my voice sounds. <laughs> go ahead. My eyes shall behold her, now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. So going back to that Psalm 91, you know, when he said a thousand will fall at thy side, and a thousand that they are on the other side. She, who, who you think that's going to happen to? It's more Israelite women than it is Israelite men, and that's all 12 tribes. All right? Now, if these women don't have a hedge or a protector, they going to get put to death, man. Right. And when I say heads will protect us, I'm talking about a man of the Lord. It's Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 9. Rise, he said, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. It said, verse 10, many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, and gathering shall not come. So all you women, man. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead, man. All that shit that you... We got all the shit that's a car. Instagram, no, you don't. your cars, your clothes, your money, all the trees, all the fancy shit you put on, all the trees. The Lord about to get rid of it all, man. The Lord is about to get rid of all that. All that, that make bullshit. He's gonna exact, he's gonna make it bear. All right? But just like when a man departs from Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, he doesn't have that cover like we read in Psalm the 91st chapter. So when a woman departs from the man, she doesn't have that cover. So a thousand shall fall at that side, a thousand shall fall at this side, only shall it, it ain't gonna touch me because you don't have that cover. But the bitch gonna be trying to down the fire. Can I, can I get one in? Verse 11, it says, Tremble, ye women are at ease, be trouble, ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird suck up upon your loins. Hey, bring that lamentation out. Then hold what you got, what you got? Oh, yeah. Hold that. Read that lamentation. Oh, yeah. This is what the lamentations for now. That they be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. You see that? Those are judges. He said those that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with the hunger. All right? That's why when you read the book of Revelation, it said they shall seek death and not find it. The Lord is going to set it up. You niggas, a lot of you niggas going to want to kill yourself, and you ain't even going to have the mental stability to do it, man. Go ahead. You say you shall see death in our family. I just said this, like man. You just said this. I did the same thing you did. For these minor way stricken for these minor way stricken for one of Hold on, hold on. Wait for my shots to go back. Then you got these niggas over here in the sea. They do it all the time, man. They don't bother me. We, they are shift though. Now normally they go on about two o'clock. No, we provoked them to good works. We, we, we did, and that's why I tripped. That's why I tripped. Cause our boots on the ground. Go ahead. I'm gonna stop going. This is one of the lamentations for nine. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these find a way strip through for one of the fruits of the field. That's why the brother just said all that the vintage. Hey, that's why we read Ecclesiastes in the twelfth chapter. So the bitches shall be brought low. You hoes ain't gonna have no link card. Ain't no fucking link card. Ain't no Walmart. Ain't no grocery store. And all that. Oh, you ain't sexy, ain't it? What's the other shit? Yeah. Yeah. Right, we we went. Tell us about what? What? You know that shit? You good? No eyelashes? Oh, yeah. 
you won't be out there looking fucked up. Y'all ain't gonna have this kabooms. No coupons, no tampons. No kabooms, no hotel rooms. Go ahead. Verse 10. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodded their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my Hold on. Hold that. What do that, no, you, what do sodden their children mean? You know? What did you say? Sodden. It said the hands of the pitiful women have sodden their children. What does that mean? You know? Sport. No. What about you? Huh? Close. You? That's right. They really took their kids and cooked them, man. Do you know what type of mind state you have to be in for that shit to happen? You gotta be like, um... Fucking Tom and Jerry thought so. You know, the best thing to me. Motherfucker looking. You know, fucking look at that. You know, fucking look like a steak. Look. Matica. Yeah. Fucking mind playing tricks on me. Go ahead, brother. They were their meat and the destruction of the daughter of my people. Mm-hmm. Once like it. I said it's the destruction yeah. of the daughter of Zion's coming back. Uh, right. So these babies, these little kids, they're gonna be the meat to you. You see right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why the shit ain't coming in. That's why it's over 20 million dollars. Right. 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 Operation in which enemy forces surround a town or building or well, all of America, cutting off essential supplies with the aim of compelling the surrender of those inside. Hey, in America is a town of unwalled villages, yep, man. Like and why do you why do you think that all these troops are being come back? Because uh, because because uh, they had some compassion. And, you know, Esau didn't give a fuck about killing babies and taking resources no more. No, no, Esau's always gonna kill babies and take resources. This time it's gonna be over here. Read that proverb if you had, if you still got it. Hey, they got the, they got the UN troops here too. That's oh, right. Yeah. troops are known to rape women. Hey, and, 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 and listen, know? man, every single nation on the planet has a blood feud with America, man. So when them UN troops come over here, man, it all hell, listen, it's over with, man. Go ahead. Book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 29. Perfect. For they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh, they would none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Hey, that's why I the saying, and even you niggas understand this saying, the same shit that make you laugh, make you cry. All right, the Lord ain't coming down here floating around getting one of you stupid ass niggas a great vision, man. This is how the Lord speaks, man. That's why the scriptures say they hate him never proven in the gate. Am I therefore your enemy because I tell you the truth? That's right. Alright? He that started from evil making himself afraid. You hearing the voice of the Lord and you niggas out being wicked and he gonna hold you to that bullshit. Hey, you got real quick, man, because these wicked, these nigga women, they like to revel in, I got 10 kids, I'm gonna get this tax return, I'm gonna get all that. That's you, a good point. You gonna have plenty of food when it comes time to start boiling, motherfuckers. See, y'all gonna, gonna have that in the rise like the brother was talking about, but as soon as you take that first bite, you gonna wake up and you gonna see what you just did. That's right. Yep. Go ahead, go ahead. When, this, when this whole thing comes down, 
Hey, a lot of these women gonna get captured. Well, these cats up that start, and they gonna be they gonna be their sex slaves, right? So I, after, after, that's what I'm getting to. So after they the sex slaves, they gonna purposely have so they got a continuous flow of food, yo. Think they gonna that, have man. breast milk Think about and that. baby feet. Yes. They showed you that. I showed you that. Man, man. Man. And they had, they had, they had, yeah, they had the woman. She was locked. She was like chained up, and they were just eating pieces of her body, you know, every other day. Oh, that's the bro. They did that in the bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. They had, they had my fucking confirmation, bro. Hey, and then your punishment. This your punishment for all that fucking adultery, all the fucking abortions, all that fucking uh, first, second, and third wave feminism, and all that. Most importantly, idolatry. Teaching your kids that the so-called white man is God. And like, hey, even though dudes across the street is the ass actually the spirit. They talking about them whole live days. Teaching your kids about fucking Easter, Christmas, and Halloween, man. All that face wickedness, man. All that post-traumatic slave disorder, man. That's what you niggas suffer from, man. You have Stockholm Syndrome, man. You were so much in love with the goddamn white man, woman, and child that you can't, you can beat down so bad that you can't do nothing but appreciate this goddamn stuff. And that's why all these Stockholm Syndrome. Right, yeah, that's that Stockholm syndrome. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just like, just like how uh, Sam Jackson said in that Django, man, when they send you to the McQueen Dicky, man, they gonna cut your tongue out, and they know what they're doing, so you not gonna bleed out, mom. That's right. They gonna chop your shit off, they go fry that shit, shit and, and burn that shit closed so that you don't eat big rocks. Big rocks, yeah, you gonna make big rocks in the little rocks. <laughs> and then they gonna hit you over the head. Oh, you're down, nigga. Nigga hole. <laughs> Hey, that's what we gonna be doing at E and the King. But worse shit like that is gonna happen to you niggas before the Lord come back. Cause like this brother Yasharab always say, man, this is the last time you niggas actually got to be with you. So we really gotta hey the, the foot really the foot really has to get put in your ass today. Go ahead. This Revelation chapter 9 and verse 6. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die. And death shall flee from them. Now, really, that goes into World War One, all right, and World War Two, which is the woe and the second woe. But when you go out to the Revelation, it said the third woe coming. So that's gonna come back to this third destruction. Professor, say that you go ahead. I know it is. I just said. Shit in them. All right, that validate. Hey, man, hey. They're going to be seeking death, we can't find it, man. No, hey, man, these people, they ain't going to be eating in days because they got that shit on them. <laughs> they just going to now. Right, you're you know going to see mean? niggas pop up like drop dead Fred. Like that ugly right, right, motherfucker. Right. <laughs> You fucking ugly, right. man. Stop looking at us. Right. <laughs> Don't look at Go home and do some push-ups and get ready. <laughs> Just kill me already. <laughs> hey, no, you got to do it like nigga for Friday. No, no. 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 Ronaldo no. Ray. No. He going to cry a car. He going to cry a car. Soft ass nigga, man. Yeah, we always see this nigga. He fucked up that mother right. Yeah. The black woman told him to do it. I got something real quick. This is uh, Ezekiel 6. Okay. And hey, out here. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face towards the mountains of Israel and prophesy against them. And say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord to the mountains and to the hills and to the rivers and to the valleys. Behold, I, even I, will bring a sword on you, and I will destroy your high places. And your altars shall be desolate, and your images shall be broken, and I will cast down your slain men before your idols. And I will lay the dead carcasses of the children of Israel before their idols. And I will scatter your bones round about your idols. So the Lord, the Lord got a lot of because all that blood from righteous Abel is going to be put upon you. Hey, get that. Hey, that's perfect. Get that on. Right upon you, there you are. Get that Galatians, man. Read what you sow. You niggas that sold nothing but wickedness, man. You can hell bent on fire. Get that and get the sentence of this evil man. Get that too. Get Ecclesiastes. Get that too. 
This is the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. It says, Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So when you shut down the hand of the Lord, when you mock the prophets like that old water buffalo with that fucking hitter hat did uh, uh, earlier, that little backwoods smoking roughy, that raggedy mouth bitch that walked past talking that shit early, all right? She thought she mocked the Lord, but guess what? I know the bitch ain't gonna repent, so good. Verse eight says, for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Hey, that's all niggas do. That's why he was just talking to the elder brother from Bible side, was just talking about that self-care, that self, all that self shit. All right, that's so, they all sow to their flesh every day, man. And that builds up covetousness and wickedness, man. And that's all abominations against you. How about shit, man? Go ahead. But he that sow to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And that's what we do. We sow to the spirit. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Because the nigga don't think shit gonna happen, man. Yo, cause you the creeped off, your little freaky ass, you, you lustful nigga. You the creeped off with uh, Mrs. Jones, you know? Hey, look at that old bastard. He resonated with that little fucking bastard. That nigga said, <laughs> you done creeped off with Mrs. Jones and didn't get your ass hit with the sticks and stones, you think it's over with. It ain't over with. Cause you niggas that uh oh what these stupid niggas say. Oh my grandma nine years old. She been eating pork all her life. That bitch gonna choke off a ham ball. My grandma wake up and eat Make it every day. Yeah, you tell a nigga to eat, stop eating yeah, pork. Right. That's the first. Hey, I didn't He's say. Right. I didn't talk about it being good or bad for your health. The Lord didn't tell you to do it. But right. because you don't get immediately jacked up with shit, you niggas think it's a joke. You piling up judgment. Just like when a man or you how about shit and how shot, when we pray, when we read, when we fast, when we do videos, we do this work. All right, we're piling up to our spiritual bank accounts, man. That's what we're doing. We're piling up for our salvation. Yeah, you niggas laughing now, but you're gonna cry later, you're gonna die later, and you're gonna fucking cry later, man. And I can't wait till you fucking niggas die. Right. Go ahead, brother. Oh, I, I got this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter Bitch four, niggas, man. in verse eight. For honorable age is not that which standeth in length of time, Ooh. nor that is measured by number of years. But wisdom is the gray hair unto men, and an unspotted life is the old age. That's it, man. Just because a motherfucker's old as hell, right? You know what I mean? Just did all this wickedness. That don't mean that he's on the level. That the Lord is preserving his monkey ass, man. It that's, that's all that is. Judgment. That's right. He preserved it. That's why Peter said they put the ungodly are preserved their judgment. That means the Lord got special judgment for you. That's right. why when you read the book of Job, it says that wisdom does not always lie with the age. Right. Hey, I know a group of old, stupid, dumb niggas. That's right. Wisdom does not all above the ball. That's right. Wisdom does not always lie with the age. You know how many old stupid niggas? I got like three uncles, man. Four, all them niggas old and dumb and shit. Yeah, and Wicked as all hell. And this is the worst time to be growing old and stupid. This is the worst time. This is the worst time to be old and stupid, man. Wicked niggas, man. That means that the Lord has a special justice reserved for your ass, man. Whether you can be starved to death, a motherfucker's gonna get raped to death, what is this gonna get uh, uh torture? You gonna die to death. You gonna die all types of shit, man. <laughs> right, four sword judgments, man. This is not the time to be old and stupid, man. Right? Hell no. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. Oh yeah, Howell say unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of the of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sight and that cry for all the abominations that, that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others, he said, in my hearing, go ye him through the city and smite. That word mark goes back to, uh, I believe, the wall. I mean, exempt, exempt from judgment. Exempt from judgment. Yep. Now you other niggas gonna get that other mark. 
Right. And you gonna be set the judgment. Yes. You gonna let E get your ass with the magic school bus. Yes. Juice. He gonna hit your ass with that Miss Frizzle. Right. It says, let not your spirit need to have you pity. Verse six, so they utterly old and young. Who else? Both maids and little children. Who else? And women. Who else? But come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begun at the ancient man which was before the house. It said come not near any of the men that have that mark of exemption. But he said slay utterly old and young, maids and women and children. He said revelations, uh, they say, um, hurting not the earth nor the sea, till we have sealed our service in their foreheads. Oh, you know? Exactly. So if you outside of that mark of exemption, that's your ass. <laughs> when you women that's with men of the Lord, you step out, that's your ass. That mark is upon him. Man. Yeah, upon him. No, that mark is upon that man. You know what I'm saying? He was to the of destruction. Right. But because he moved the most out of the ground, he was living on to our enemies. You know, so the destruction's coming. It's for these fucking devils and these heathens, man. But since you fucking two thirds want to take hold of his hand, you can receive the same judgment, bitch. Yeah, That's right. Uh, uh, it says uh, uh, a man should be a, co a co covert a from the wind. A hiding place. Uh, 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 a shadow in a rare Yep. Uh, uh, river like the desert. Yep. Under the Lord, they gonna be protection out here. Everybody else. <laughs> they gonna be food. <laughs> That's why Jake, Jake, the male Jake, okay? Jake really need to understand, okay? We are the prize, man. Fuck these brothers. Alright? At the end of the day, we are the prize. Y'all need to know that, man. Because the woman was created for the man, not the man for the woman. That's plain. The Lord is only dealing with men. Real men, real men, come out here and teach this word, man. I'm done. All right. Get, get all his thoughts and men. Get that. Get that. I ain't dealing with no motherfucker. Oh, 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 get that. Jeremiah 51 and 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. All right, and that's talking about men of the Lord. See, right now, we already been hacked down on everything that, not everything, man. Everything that this devil has came with, spent countless amount of time, countless amount of money, countless amount of simple Negroes to come against this, their own people. We done beat they ass, man. Go ahead. But now it's gonna get spiritual, man, when the Lord give us that power. And with thee will I break it's gonna in get pieces. This Salaki, I mean. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. As he saw his military. And with thee will I break <laughs> in pieces the chariot and his rider. Uh-huh. With thee also I break in pieces man and woman. Uh-huh. Wait a minute, man and woman. Hey, so when the Lord come back. Ice Cube soft ass that gonna pop up talking about Debo, that female. Go ahead. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. So everybody outside of that song to 91st chapter is fucked. You're done. Go ahead. You niggas gonna be on the floor like that nigga Brian Pumper, man. <laughs> that nigga dead. Look at his head. <laughs> Damn. Lord, no. I will Lord. also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, said the Howard. See? And, and how we know that that Babylon is Babylon is great. This is this great order that's sitting upon many waters. America is because after that he goes into the thermonuclear destruction. What's that? What chapter is that? The 40, 50th? Yeah, because all through that he goes to it. How is going to Babylon is going to be destroyed. All right, that's a future problem, huh? God, he, he goes into it, right? He when he go in the in the chapter before that too, I think. All right, he goes into that, man. And in the physical landmass of Babylon is still on the planet of Earth today. It's what you would call modern day Iraq. Iraq or Iran? Iraq. Iraq. Right. 
over there in the sandbox. So this is a future prophecy for a future place. All right? And all them bitches over there, we gonna round them up too, and we gonna deal with them, man. We work at the sand castle too, nigga. Double time. Get right together. This is Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, said Yahweh, and they shall fish them. And after what I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them. Every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. There you go. And what you think, hey man, it's going down, man. And the Lord is dealing with the man. Men are going to be doing this, man. Ain't no group of that bitch. What that bitch Lucy Lawless claim, by the way, if the apostles ain't been smoking back in the day. That bitch from Zena, Warrior Princess. You ain't finna hop off the thing swinging those swords, man. <laughs> I was a bitch. Cut off 911 and let a bitch run up on me with a sword. I'm a bitch. <laughs> Undertaker's style, man. Fuck Undertaker. I'm right turning in that bitch. <laughs> Nothing, Bush. I'm gonna turn that bitch right up. You niggas seen what's love got to do with it. I'm coming in like turn the spirit, they cut the lights off in this bitch. Go oh. <laughs> ahead, read that off. Uh, this is Ezekiel 34 and 34. And ye my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men. I am your power, said you all watch me outside power. Wait a minute, he said his flock is a what? He says and ye my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men. Wait a minute, are uh, what? Our men. Our what? Our men. Why the fuck do you bitches get off with this bullshit? First of all, you got a, you, you got a goddamn little Indian fucking boy's hair on your goddamn head. You ministrating in a so-called pulpit. Hey, I remember when my daddy said, this is nigger shit, man. He said, you know why you go to that church and they call it the pulpit? Them niggas just talking about bullshit. <laughs> Fucking nigga, man. That was the truth. Right, this is First Timothy chapter two and verse twelve. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. And what? But to be in silence. And what? But to be in silence. And what? But to be silent. And she ain't to usurp no authority over a man. All right. Cause look, check check this shit out, right? Some old raggedy mouth hair hat wearing hard lot was on Facebook talking shit, right? Probably smoking the backwood, as usual. Nevertheless, she gonna say no man can do all for her. Talking about cooking, cleaning, oh, it's just stupid shit. I said, what the fuck? I said, first of all, what the fuck is a woman supposed for? I said, second of all, I can't do all for her, but you can't do one. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> And that ain't miraculous. That ain't deep. You got the woman, woman talking shit. No man can do all for it. No, I can't hunt. Bitch, you can't even shut up. <laughs> you want a nigga to go out here, be six foot five, motherfucking diesel. Right, diesel. Well, you, you, you lowballing. Five hundred thousand dollars a year. Motherfucker, six foot five, diesel. <laughs> Toss. Motherfucking big beard, a beard, three waves, oh, yeah, that Buzz Lightyear chin, a motherfucking Ferrari, yeah, with a little swirl, <laughs> shit with a link card, three kids in a raggedy ass mouth, and you can't even shut your goddamn mouth. There's some hand-me-down box. You 300, right. 300 pounds. You big as hell, bitch. <laughs> three, 300 pounds. <laughs> 340. <laughs> Four, fucking, fucking five, two. <laughs> you know, in Disney World, because if they was in Disney World, they'd be white. <laughs> they'd be white. <laughs> <laughs> if they was in Disney World, they'd be white with me. Fuck these goddamn bitches. Hey, that's why you know Revelation. <laughs> in Revelation says, uh, my tabernacle is good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your tabernacle with me. There you go. I guess, bro. DJ Kelly. Hey, we're going to wrap this up, man. Bring y'all to the last one. Let's get this down, man. Let's get Jim Jones say, I ain't going to get too hype on you niggas, man. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
and it'll start at 21. These things has thou done, and I kept silence. Though thou, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will repeat and set them in order before thine eyes. And that's what's happening. Now, consider this, ye that forget the most high, yet, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of the Most High. So if you're not dealing with what we doing, if you're not dealing with the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, if you deal with these cracker so-called Edomites, okay, and their ways of life. These real Edomites, all right, so -called, the so-called self-proclaimed white people. They are biblically known as the Edomites. Yes. So if you want to deal in their ways and not deal with the Lord and the men of the Lord, be prepared to get that ass smoked, man. What? Because the real men, the real men come out here and teach this word. As the scriptures teach us to do. As the scriptures commanded the Israelite male to do. Which is so-called Negroes, Hispanic, Native and Seminole Indians. Nobody else. What, you got something else? I got a, Bring these up and we going to wrap it up, uh, man. Ezekiel 35 and uh, 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me. Son of man, set my face against Mount Seir and prophesied against it and say unto it, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Mount Seir being AKA America, Sodom and Gomorrah, it's just Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, it's Esau, it's yeah. the inhabitants of Esau. And wherever Esau is, all right, just like wherever Jerusalem is, Jerusalem is the people before us a place. Wherever uh, Edom is, Edom is the people before us a place. America is Sodom and Egypt. But it's also evil. All right? That's why the scriptures, when you go to Isaiah, say, who is this that come with dyed garments from Bosra? Because right. it goes into the Lord in future judgments coming to judge the children of Edom. Right. So they're going to emulate from generation to generation. Exactly, which is the top tribe of Edom, which I know today is the Ish people. Matsu. The Matsu men. The Muslim. Right, the little hats. The, <laughs> the, the Mazu talk <laughs> boys. The dreidel niggas. Let's go, man. It's uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 8. He therefore that despises, despises not men, but Yahweh, right. who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. All right? Hey, man. When you coming up against us, you ain't really coming up against us, man. You coming against Yahweh, I man. Hey, right. keep right. doing it, man, because you just piling up your judgment, because when the Lord come back, and he's coming back soon, man, the prophecies are popping up. It's like a fucking pop-up bus, man. This place is finished, man. Every item the Lord hears it. Even if you keep it to yourself. Hey man, so the Lord with, hears it. So with that being said, I mean he knows your thoughts. <laughs> but right. with that being said, we like to say call halal you. Yahoo! Boston, yo shut, Boston, we're about to dance. Number one is to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught us the truth. The apostles and elders of all Israel. I write Shalom to the Akim out there, the hope for that. Hey, and to the rest of this fucking place. Above the ball! Above the ball! Hey, cut off all the cameras. We're going to salute real quick. Get the fuck out of here. What? They off. All right. Stop.